In this video, we are going to be memorizing Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. So after we've memorized verse 4, we're going to review verses 1 to 3 from previous videos, and then we're going to add verse 4 onto the end of them. So if you haven't watched those previous videos, I will direct you back there now. Otherwise, let's have a look at verse 4. So you can see verse 4 on the screen. Uh, verse 3 is written at the top just for reference. So let's read verse 4. Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. Okay, verse 4 obviously begins halfway through a sentence. It finishes that sentence and then begins a new one. And we'll get to that. But let's have a look at the wording of verse 4. Even as he, who is this he that Paul is referring to? Even as he, well, if we go back and read verse 3, we see that he is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We move on, even as he chose us in him. Now, that word chose is something that God has done. And it's interesting because in verse 3 again, we see that God has blessed us. And now we see in verse 4 that he chose us. Now, if we look at he chose us, we see in the start of that second line in verse 4 that there is a reason why God has chosen us. Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that, this is the reason, we should be holy and blameless before him. And then the passage will go on. But when we look at this uh, verse 4 again, even as he chose us, who is the us referring to? Well, if we go back again into verse 3, uh, we see that us is the same us as the us who was blessed, who has blessed us in Christ. The us is the people of whom the Lord Jesus Christ belongs, our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it is also noted by the word we, so the, the us, even as he chose us in him, follows on that we should be holy and blameless. And we also see, um, if we continue looking at that, that it is even as he chose us in him. Now, who is this him? It is the Lord Jesus Christ, or our Lord Jesus Christ as verse 3 writes it. And we notice as well in verse 3 that it says, who has blessed us in Christ. And again in verse 4, the start of the verse says, even as he chose us in him, that is in Christ. So we have this similar theme. In both cases, it's something that God has done for us. He has blessed us. He has chosen us. But in both cases, it says, in Christ or in him. That's going to be a theme we're going to see a few times. Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. The word foundation implies something that you put down first, or you begin to build on top of it. So when it says that God chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that's really saying that before the beginning of the world, before the first parts of the world were put in place, God had chosen us. And that's why I've underlined those three words. The foundation is referring to the world, foundation of the world. The word before is interesting because foundation normally comes first. Um, so let's read through that first line again. Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, and the last line of verse 4, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. Okay, those two words, holy and blameless, as I've already mentioned, they are the reasons why God chose us, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. And again, who is... The him, 
or that him in this line is again referring to God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. As I've already mentioned, there is a new sentence beginning at the end of verse 4, in love. And this is again something that uh, belongs to God. It's, it was his love, as we're going to see. But we'll talk more about that as we go into the next video, Ephesians 1 verse 5. What we're going to do here now is we're going to write out the passage by first letter and use those letters as a prompt. So just while those letters are going to be written out, let's read through both verses again. So verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and recite the whole passage just looking at those first letters. Sorry, just verse 4, looking at the first letters. So let's do that together. Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. Let's do it one more time. Now this time you try it and I'll say it with you at the end. even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. Okay, so that brings us to the point where we're going to remove all of the visuals and just look at the first letters. So you can see them on the screen now. So I'd again encourage you to recite it from memory if you can. even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. Let's do it one more time. Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. Okay, see if you can do it this time. even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. Okay, we're now going to review verses 1 to 4 together. If you need to keep practicing verse 4, you can pause it here and you can see that verse 4 is written in that last line, at least the first letters are. Uh, I want you to try and recite verses 1 to 4, though, looking at the screen as a prompt. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. Next video, we'll be looking at Ephesians 1.5, and that will continue this sentence that we've begun to look at in love. And I'll see you there.